Hello and welcome to an episode of Battleborn where we find the dead in body and soul. <laughs> I just spent like an hour recording more stuff before reading, realizing that Shadow Play had fucked up and hadn't been recording. Um, so that's kind of soul crushing. I played a couple matches as uh, Oscar Mike and I did fucking fantastic. Um, like, I think the best I've ever done as him. But those are gone forever now. <laughs> they exist only on the official Battleborn servers and my mind. So, rest in fucking pieces, I guess. Fucking hook these people. It's fucking drowsy and thralls. This used to be a nice neighborhood. There we go. That's how you fucking take down a thrall. I'm a little rusty on Galt, fair warning. Like I mentioned in the Melka video, I've been kind of neglecting some of my other mains since I found Atticus, because he is my favorite. My fucking favorite. But, um... Galt is one of the characters who I got pretty far in progression with, um... But kind of... Haven't played a lot recently, even before my Atticus- Oh my god! I get the whole running away thing, Reyna, but... I'm gonna run... To solid land, not, you know, cliffs. Generally, my experience has been that that is not a healthy alternative. Maybe wrong, you know, I'm not. I'm not, nor do I pretend to be any sort of genius. Okay, let's. Okay, level up. Oh, I want the extra trap. No. I want the sh trap. No, and I want. Oh, and there's dual wheel. I want the uh, slowing. That's always nice. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, the attack speed is fine for now. It's good to have with Galt because he's a little, he's a little on the slow side. Papa shotguns on the slow side. For now, but soon he'll be decimating his enemies with ease. Okay. It's like, it's weird too, because now I don't know what I've already said on recording and what I haven't, so like, I don't want to fucking repeat myself too much. But, okay, gotcha! I remember I was supposed to talk about gotcha at the end of the last little recording session that I did. Um, the one with Melka before everything went terribly and made me sad. Let's just all, real quick. Gotcha was a game we played at my high school. It was an annual game, I think hosted by the music teacher. Um, where you, it was five dollars to enter, I think, five or ten, um, and when you entered, there's a meeting, and you get a bracelet, and that, like, a little glow stick bracelet, and a piece of paper with a name on it, that would be on the bracelet, um, and that person would be the person you were supposed to be taking down and grabbing their bracelet. And then, when you'd have their bracelet, you'd get their target, because their their target would be on the bracelet, and so on and so forth, until you're the last person remaining. Um, but the thing about that is people went fucking nuts, and, like, took the game super seriously. And, like, it would be one thing if it was allowed one year, I'd be, like, a little surprised, but, like, this was the thing that kept going, and I'm pretty sure it's still being practiced there. <laughs> like, they try and keep kids in check because they don't want them fucking murdering each other but there's like only so much they can do don't kill that thrall yes 
Thank you. I thought that Oryx was going to kill that Thrall in the trap, which would be a dick move, because I think I still need to kill Thralls with Scrap Traps for a lore challenge. Um, do I want both barrels, or... I am moving forward and I don't want to be. There we go. Uh, shit, shit, shit. Um, yeah, I want both barrels. Fuck it. Give me that bar damage. Up spread, and... Both barrels, so now I basically have a sawed-off double barrel shotgun. Can't complain with that. Oh, and I've level up here. From the helix point. But Gacha was a kind of game that I don't think probably should have been practiced, like, from a realist point of view. But it was fun when you took part of it. It was more fun to watch, and I only played, because I, I know because I only played one year and watched the other few years that it went, ran. Um, hold on. Yeah, I want the shrapnel. But yeah, my experience was interesting i'm not like an aggressive person so like i wasn't out there hunting down people i was a lot better at the whole staying hitting and moving fast kind of thing um i had a little hiding spot that was there was a flight of stairs that was like one no one ever used anyway but it went further than like where the school there was like a tiny third floor on my school that was like I think just for maintenance, or maybe it was a root, root, the roof, I don't know, but there was a little hat, there was like a door that was locked at the very top of the stairs, so no one ever went all the way up, because it was, that door was always locked, and like, we weren't allowed in there, so I just sit on that landing during break, and I was totally fine, and undetected, until, <laughs> I, I want to say it was like right around Christmas Eve, or something, um, the girl I was dating at the time, which, dating, I don't fucking believe it. High school was a weird time for me. I was just fucking going along with what the media fucking told me I was supposed to do. Or like, oh, you should like women and you should want to date them. Even though no one in high school should be in a fucking relationship. No one in high school knows what a fucking actual relationship is. Like, it's like some of you can't even fucking drive yet. You shouldn't be going on dates until you can fucking drive. Like, oh god. High school is just a weird time in general. Um, I've expressed my distaste for it I think, in the last little bit of recording. Um, and not just my personal experience, I think just the whole idea of it is just fucking... S the entire education system needs an overhaul, because the current education system is still based around, like, the early 1900s of, like, oh shit, these kids aren't allowed to work, but the adults need to work, so we need to get rid of them somehow, and also prepare them for the workforce. And while there's still some of that that's applicable in our modern capitalist society, uh, there definitely needs to be some updating to it, because times have fucking changed, in case you couldn't tell. We're no longer skimping on child labor laws and making women work in mills to fucking get by. Um. But anyways... I tend to get sidetracked with sociological topics, so I try to avoid bringing them up, but that never works because I always bring them up because I fucking love sociology. Um, anyways, the girl I was dating at the time, I asked her to meet me there, which probably looks shady. Most of the things I did in high school probably look shady, which like, I don't blame you for thinking I was shady, but like I was a fucking goody two-shoes. like. That doesn't excuse me being a fucking shady as shit, but like... God, high school is just weird. Okay. Got those thralls down. Some fucking fireworks from those shrapnel traps. Uh, and so that was cool. And I gave her a gift. And she was like, cool. And then she left. I don't blame her, because, once again, it was a weird request. Meet me at the top of the stairwell where no one goes. Also, we're fucking both shy idiots. Well, I'm a shy idiot, and you're just shy. 
and in high school. So meet me in this fucking abandoned place in the school. Um, <laughs> but the break went on longer than it normally did, and that was confusing. So I left the area to go check out what was going on. And I got found out by the person who was trying to get me. Which, of course, I then had to run around, and his friends tried fucking restraining me, which was some bullshit. And they were clearly fucking weak, because I could break past them. And that's not like some like, oh, I'm so macho, I can break through. I'm just, like, not strong. So, if I can fucking break your grip, you're probably kind of a little weakling. Um... Just fucking bomb these assholes. There we go. Hey, Rana. Ah, shit, she didn't have her skill up long enough. Here comes the hook! Oh, it did not work. Get some alting in here. I'm terrible with galt alts. Galt alts. That's not fun to say. Come on, kill him, kill him. Yes! 